for noticing when you're here, all right, so we can push the legs to the side and redirect them. We can steer them well. We've got to make sure when our knee is coming in here that we then carry our weight and don't let the floor carry the weight. So if I take this foot off the floor put my, and make sure my hip is nice and close, uh, my foot is nice and close to his hip, and I want to fill this space between my butt and my heel. Okay? I don't want space here for him to start inserting his leg and attacking my leg. Also, my leg, this leg here, I want it to bend. I want to be out. So if, if David decides to move around and move, I should be able to move with him. Okay? So I don't want my knee down because I'm not very mobile. Right? So having my knee down is not good because now my knee's on the floor, my weight's not on him, it's on the floor. I want it on him. Okay? His knee's slightly turned in and it's level with his shoulder. I don't want it straight like this. I want it bent. I want to be athletic. Hard Controlling both elbows, moves in, moves out. Really hard for him to clear away from him. We've got the gi, obviously, we can grab here, grab the collar here. Yeah, and push this down, pull this up, push this down, pull this up. There's no gi, we can't do this. So, elbow control is good. Okay, or if he's turning away, shoulder pressure. Or shoulder pressure here, just pinning the shoulders with my hands. I can't get the elbows. Okay, but the elbows are good. Okay, one minute. One, two, one, two. When you're doing these drills, you're not going maximally. You don't want to go as hard as you can. So this thing needs to ride in position. You're not going to start freaking out trying to preach him off too hard. So make sure it's nice and progressive. That way he's going to learn from it, you're going to learn from it, and, uh, and you're not going to get yourself hurt as well. Um, we're going to look at just move, switching sides. So we call this a windshield wiper drill. I've got my, uh, my knee across the body here, my legs out, I place my hands on the floor. I put my hands on the floor as opposed to on him because I know the floor won't move. And that's a you know, so that's quite going on. So I don't put him on him because he, he can still move, right? I put him on the floor in front of his head. Now I'm going to bring my feet together here, bring my knees together, and then I'm going to windshield wipe on my legs and then step the other leg out. It's important that my heels kind of clear his legs. I don't want my feet to kind of like start drifting between his legs where he can kind of snag in some form of half guard or quarter guard. Okay, so my knee is here, put my hands on the floor, I'm going to just shift my weight slightly forward, I bring my knees together, put my ankles together, and then I windshield wiper, and I just come to the other side. Now, it's, it's, it's not much fun for the guy underneath, so I'm just going to go for 30 seconds. Okay? I'm just switching from one side to the other, just trying to keep our movements nice and smooth. Hands on the floor, knees together, and then post that leg out in a nice stable position, make sure. My body's nice and low, my heel, and we're not.